Starting tomorrow, Texans driving on TxDOT toll roads will have to worry a little less about those sky-high late fees that we've been investigating for the past year. Following our reports, a new law goes into effect, prompting TxDOT to cap those fees at $4 per invoice and $48 annually. But at today's board meeting of the Central Texas Regional Mobility Authority, it was clear these four toll roads in the Austin area won't be part of that cap, at least not right now. And lawmakers uh, tell us that they're not satisfied with CTRMA and other non dot toll roads getting that exemption. KXAN investigator Brittany Glass learned they're working to make sure the law works for drivers on those stretches too. When two CTRMA toll roads are in the district you represent, you know your constituents would welcome a cap in toll fees. Just ask Cedar Park House member Tony Dale. When we passed this reduction in the fees, everyone thought that it applied to all toll roads. So I think the Attorney General uh, is agreeing with that as well. He's referring to what's spelled out in a Texas Attorney General opinion this week that led Dale to believe for any toll road that uses the state's text tag system, the fee cap should apply. When you transition from one road to the other, I think you should be on the same set of rules. You can get a text tag that's supposed to be good in Houston, in Dallas, in El Paso, in, in Austin, but the reality is Tolls are being operated by different entities, and it's not clear. I'm going to ask you. Dale's House colleague, Representative Joe Pickett, tells us the bill behind the cap was rushed to the House floor, likely resulting in the confusion now. That's why he asked the AG for that clarification, to find out how it applies to other toll entities like CTRMA. Exactly line out what existing roads and what future roads that we have in our statewide plan that they feel this would fall under. It does not apply to the local toll road entities throughout the state of Texas, not just to the RMA. I want you guys to know but the CTRMA executive director yeah. says his entity falls under a different chapter of the law, not the subsection outlined in the AG's opinion, meaning CTRMA won't be capping its fees, at least for now. $48 a year for 100 violations is ridiculous. He says fewer fines collected might mean less funding for future projects that could help ease Austin area traffic. The credit markets and those people that invest in these kinds of facilities uh, would look at every incremental issue that damages the ability to repay bonds. I can assure you that during this next legislative session, if there's anything that's unclear to them about what the intent of the legislature is, I intend to make it clear. I'll be filing legislation, so it's 100% clear that they need to reduce their fines as well. You might have to wait for final answers, though. Lawmakers will likely ask for clarification from the Attorney General next month. And if they think any changes are needed, they can't file bills to address them until November. At that point, it could still be May of next year before any proposed tweak makes it to the governor's desk at the end of the legislative session to be signed into law. Brittany Glass, KXAN Investigates. All right, Brittany, thank you. And today we also learned that CTRMA will soon get a new bill con uh, collector that will hopefully help with customer service wait times. An agreement with the current contractor was extended last month until this fall, at which point it will transfer operations to the more affordable Kofi Well USA. Too soon to know, but some board members want to pass on any savings to customers. You might recall Textag, the state's tollway authority, is also getting a new contractor after a KXAN investigation exposed an aggressive collections agency handing down a billion dollars in late fees to millions of customers. Catch up on that coverage in the investigative section of KXAN.com.